Granny Baby for the 27th, we have Polly and the Pony. King, no. King, no. What's up? Lay down. Polly and... Oh, Polly the Pony was sad. Polly's owner, Vicky, had grown too big for her. For weeks, Vicky had been riding a new horse named Midnight. While Polly stayed behind in the field... It's not fair, Polly told his friend Patch the sheepdog one day. At least you don't have to look after silly sheep like I do, said Patch. Things will get better, you'll see. And to Polly's surprise, they did. The little girl called Charlotte came to stay on the farm where Polly lived. Charlotte loved ponies. And she made friends with Polly right away. You can ride Polly as often as you'd like, said Vicky. Thank you, said Charlotte. Charlotte uh, spent hours with Polly. She groomed her coat till it shone and brushed her mane and tail. On fine days, Charlotte and Vicky went riding together. Polly and Midnight trotted on behind the others. Polly holding her head high and swishing her tail. Sometimes they went galloping across the fields, jumping fences and splashing through the puddles. On these days, Polly and Midnight would come home tired, muddy, and ready for their food, for their feed. One evening, while Polly was dozing in the stable, Patch came to sit by her. Oh, came, Patch came to see her. Happy? He asked. Yes, said Polly thoughtfully. But I'm sad about one thing. What now? Said Patch. When the summer is over, Charlotte will go be going away. Not far away, said Patch. I've heard Charlotte is coming to live near the farm. It was true. Charlotte's parents had bought a new house just down the lane. So Charlotte and Polly, so Charlotte saw Polly every day and went riding with Vicky whenever she could. You're the best pony in the world, Charlotte offered whisper to her pony. It made Polly feel special. So the next time Patch saw Polly, he said, now are you happy? And Polly said, yes, yes. Yes, I am. There they are. Let's do... Oh, say, say you're famous. Come out and play with me. And bring your dollies three. Climb up my apple tree, shout down my rainbow, slide down my cellar door, and we'll be jolly friends forevermore, more, more. It was a sunny day, she could not go out to play. She said with tearful eyes, my dolly's got the flu. Boo hoo 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 hoo, I ain't got no rainbow, I ain't got no cellar door. But we'll be jolly friends forever more, more, more. Karina Baby, I love you and I miss you so incredibly much. I hope that you're having a beautiful night and a beautiful day. And I just hope that you're doing everything that you want to be doing. And I hope that you're happy and I hope that you're content. And I hope that you are just cherishing every single day that you have. I love you and I miss you, honey.